Welcome back to another Star Citizen video. We're going to be showing off the uh, the prospector here. This is your light mining ship. I have a paint on it, which is, matches the one I do for the mole. The like kind of dark purple. Um, I use this pretty much for all my mining, usually, because it's just easier. Uh, quant mining is extremely easy to do with this ship. Um, and it's just time efficiency is... Uh, it can't be beat, really. It's probably a really good investment. It costs about $2 million credits to buy it in game um it's one of the better investments you can do right now so we'll go ahead and uh, kind of look at the interior a little bit and then we'll fly it around you open the ladder from out here so yeah, i usually just stand back and get up in here inside you have a bunk you can log out in there you have some space here if you want to do box missions with it but i usually don't and then you have a uh, bathroom with a sink and then uh, right here is the cockpit so we'll go ahead and jump in here and power it up so you can kind of see. I like the visibility on this ship. It's uh, really easy kind of like to be able to see out. I'm going to power this up and then I'll go ahead and throw the quantum drive on so it can start spooling as well. As you can see, all your uh, screens are up here. You got some interaction buttons there. Pretty good. So what I'll do is uh, we'll just actually kind of like, you know, we'll go through uh, like a quantum warp. Um, and we'll just go do like some very simple mining. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go and select Arc L1 and just set route. And we'll just uh, take off here. I usually don't <clears throat> put up landing gear. I mean, landing gear usually goes up automatically whenever you uh, go into quantum. But it depends on whether or not I want to do it manually or not. About 20 million kilometers to get where we're going, but uh, what we'll I'll do is I'll go over the uh, the actual specs and the fit while we're traveling. So here's the prospector. This is what comes on it by stock. You have two laser repeaters, which are bulldogs, um, size one. I usually don't swap these out because I'm not trying to dog fight <laughs> with this thing. And then you have the uh, mining arm here, and then. Uh, pretty much everything on here is good to go the only things that i do change is i run with the lancet mh1 and then i swap this goliath out for a atlas that's a better quantum drive in my opinion for this you have a total space um, of 32 um, scu for mining which is decent enough as long as you're you know going after orders that are <clears throat> valued really high after refine as you see here pretty uh Pretty good to go i don't make a whole lot of changes to fits and most of my heavier fit changes from stock or on combat ships mining ships uh, not so much but as you can see here that's uh it's not a bad little uh ship uh, for the cost fuel efficiency for this ship is <clears throat> pretty decent you're not gonna go like super long distances with it but just for like kind of getting around in a in and around a planet to do some mining on the moons and stuff like that it's uh it's not bad most of the fuel you'll be using is going to be your hydrogen fuel and everything. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to find like a simple rock. We're not going to be too picky about what it is, just so you can kind of see the uh, the mining process here. We're right outside Arc L1. Um, you don't really find quant here. So normally what I do is I get you know close to a rock like this, and then I you know speed down quite a bit. You can hit M, you can go right into mining mode, and then I usually get pretty close. I also don't run. I also don't run with mods usually because I can mine mostly everything I want by just running no modules, not even passive. That way, if the ship gets destroyed or whatever, um, I don't have to really worry about replacing a whole lot of that. So this one's all right. <clears throat> we don't really give a. Sh we don't really don't care about what's in it right now. I'm just gonna kind of show you the process if you've never actually mined here. So what re we really want to do is we want to like. Get close enough to where that green bar in the top left of the HUD shows optimal. And then uh, we're in mining mode, so you want to turn your uh, mining laser on and then get your uh, power up. We're going to go. Now, I usually get pretty close. I do the Lancet because it's a little bit more um, stable without mods. And then also, it has a really big optimal window, which is kind of what we're going for here. So, what we're doing is we're waiting on that right. A little progress bar to get into the green and then we'll start regulating our power to keep that bar in the green until it fractures 
normally whenever you're mining you'll have an asteroid you'll fracture it once and then each of the pieces that come from that you'll fracture again and you'll be able to extract We're, well the first thing i'll do is once we actually get into green i'll start backing off a little bit then i'll adjust power because your power can be micro adjusted based on your um distance from the rock but most of the time lance is pretty good to go even at 100 percent most of the time come out to about 12 We'll start coming down a little bit since we're in the middle of green. <clears throat> we just kind of, and that once that green bar fills up, it'll uh, it'll fracture. And we don't want to be too close to it when it fractures because the pieces can shoot off and kind of hit us. That's why I always back out first, then I come down on on laser power. All right, and that is a fracture. Now you can just roll over these and do a scan on each one of these. This has got aluminum. It's got 81, or it's got a lot of inert in there. So we're going to go for a piece that doesn't have <clears throat> a high percentage of inert because that is absolutely worthless. This is all these pieces are probably going to have a pretty big amount since the overall rock had quite a bit. It's got 70. Scanning does take a little bit of time, but uh, all right, so this doesn't have any inert in it at all. Doesn't have great ore, but we're just going to go and fracture this as well. And it's the same process. We'll go in on this. And these smaller pieces will be a little bit more unsta unstable. Or a little bit more unstable because of just the uh, mass. It's a lot lower since they're fragments. But it also didn't take very long to get into green, as you can see. And so now we're just managing our power. We're running like 2%. <clears throat> if it starts to degrade too much, then we can pump it up again. back up to 23 percent once the outlines turn to purple that means you can extract and then we'll be switching to extraction mode so now they're purple and then once you're in extraction mode you can just start uh start mining I think once the game is a little bit more stable, <clears throat> as far as like server stability, I'll probably start using uh, passive mods again. But just right now, it's just whenever I'm like mining or whenever I'm just farming um, credits, I like to just run with as little operational cost as possible right now, just in the case of a disconnect or whatever, which doesn't happen too often. But uh, it also just kind of saves me the effort of going and buying replacements and going down to refineries and doing all that stuff. usually fill up the uh, ship with one asteroid so it's not like you're doing a lot of bulk mining that's why you can be like really selective on kind of what you're going for but I don't want this video to run too long so I figured I would just um, show that and then what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and land here at Arc L1 just so uh, you can kind of see the landing process that I do so what we can do is we're far enough away that we can actually Quantum jump to this a uh, little bit closer. Now you just turn that off, and I'll uh, I'll go in pretty pretty hot. And when I get to about when I get to the um, the little um, safe or the sanctuary radius is when I'll start kind of coming off of the throttle a little bit. We'll save our boost as we're already kind of top speed. Our boost will be, our afterburner will be using our boost for uh, braking when we get close. Let me start backing off now. I usually gonna go for this like little bitty corner right there. Start slowing down a little bit and we'll just throttle down. We're going to call ATC. I have it hot keyed and sometimes it's uh, a little, takes a little bit. But generally speaking, once we slow down, I can start moving up here to where the uh, pads are. So I'm ready to go once uh, it comes, the call goes through. We can also <clears throat> manually call as well. Since the... Uh, Please proceed. 
to assign landing bay. It's kind of slower doing it the other way. All right, so we're on the other side. Going to throw down landing gear by hitting in. And I usually land about the same as I do pretty much everything else. Even if I'm coming at the pad at the side here, I'll slow down and just kind of put my nose right in the middle. Because once I get close enough, I'm just going to use, I'm going to hold down in so that the uh, it'll auto line me up. So I get about that close and hold down in. And what that'll do is that'll actually align me around nicely. If I'm quant mining and I'm coming in with the timer, then I usually won't go this extra step. I'll just get down and land. And then I make it a habit too with every ship that I fly to uh, refuel before I get out of it just so I don't forget. Refuel, repair, all that stuff. Just a good uh, practice. But I, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, if you're wanting to get into mining, Prospector is the way to go. It makes a good pledge ship. Um, but also, I just usually buy it in-game with currency. The way it works is like what you if for any mining ship, you absolutely need a it's some sort of like freighter or hauler. Because you'll come to like a refinery like Arc L1 here with the ore you have in your hold and you'll refine it but then you have to actually point the refining uh work order or work uh process to a uh freight ship so if you're going to be getting into mining you definitely need something like a colorless black a freelancer max or a connie something with a lot of um scu that you can you know you take all that refined ore to market it it's not enough just to have a mining ship you have to kind of have the mining ship and the uh the freighting uh ship as well Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this um, kind of gave you some insight on the light mining ship in Star Citizen. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.